Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will cover the workbench, progression, researching, and additional features for the tech tree. Each workbench tier yields a different tech tree which contains items to unlock, corresponding to that level. The level 1 workbench holds beginner items necessary for early defense, raiding, farming, building, and contains the essential items necessary for power production and storage. The level 2 workbench provides more powerful items to defend and attack with such as sheet metal armor, medicine, submachine guns, the rocket launcher, and the essential items to start constructing vehicles. The level 3 workbench contains the remaining high tier items vital for late stage raiding and home defense such as armored doors, assault rifles, bolt action rifle, metal armor, C4, rockets, and improved vehicle parts. The tech tree has replaced the random research within workbenches which allows you to put in specific amount of scrap to obtain a random item from that tier of workbench. That was risky and tedious which the tech tree now resolves by allowing you to target specifically what you want. The progression of the tech tree flows from the top down like opening valves to let water trickle down. Once a parent item has unlocked it, it will grant access to unlock one or many of its children. Some child items have two parent items. However, only one parent is required to be unlocked to obtain access to its child item. To reach a specific item, you must first unlock all parent items, even if they are irrelevant to you. However, there is a way you can skip the unnecessary items to unlock exactly what you are looking for. This can be achieved using the research table. The research table allows you to research and unlock specific items that you have found, allowing you to craft that item. By directly researching that item, it will be destroyed, but unlock it within the tech tree, skipping the parent items normally necessary for unlocking it. Once an item has been directly unlocked within the tech tree, it cannot be used to unlock further children items under it, without all parent items being unlocked first. Think back to the tech tree as valves with flowing water. Just because you skipped ahead and unlocked a valve doesn't allow the water stuck at the top behind a locked parent valve to flow down to its children items. Each item within the tech tree will contain a description of its stats, usefulness and cost to build before unlocking it, allowing you to make an educated choice on what to unlock. Additionally, every item within the tech tree will cost a specific amount of scrap to unlock. The amount it will cost depends on the usefulness of that item, with items like the double barrel shotgun costing 125 scrap to unlock, while the flare next to it costing 20 scrap. The tech tree gives the player the power to decide what items to unlock, reducing the randomness and luck involved in the original system, with each path catering for a different playstyle. I would recommend at the start of a wipe focusing on unlocking the tier 1 guns and pistol ammo to give yourself a fighting chance in the world. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.